Hello there. I thought I replied to this dumbass comment right here. Normally I don't do this, but I had two comments were so stupid I had to, do, to reply to, to both of them. I did one already, so this is my last one right here for the day anyway. But let me read the comment to you first. It says, the crybaby will have to testify under oath in every one of the lawsuits. It will be fun to watch him lie. Obviously this is a lip tart up here. Got caught up in the media lies, the fake news media lies, okay? Now, I'm not going to explain to this guy anything else, but, you know, I like I say, anybody with common sense who watched the damn videos, Kyle Rittenhouse was defending himself. He was defending his life and his property, okay? Everything Kyle Rittenhouse did that night in Kenosha was justified because he had three leftist thugs. Two of them I know for sure was a pedophile. One was domestic abuser, and I think the other one was trying to grab his wife. Well, one of them was anyway. Okay, I watched the video. A lot of people watched those damn videos. Almost everybody did. And you can see clear clear as day he was defending himself. Defending himself, you know. And it was amazing, you know, how these leftist lip tars will just copy his fucking lies and shit like that. And if you look through everything carefully, it was fine to call Kyle Rittenhouse did everything legally. He broke no laws, literally. All he was doing was defending his community and defending his life. Okay, I mean, why would I cry, cry crocodile tears for, for three leftist thugs any fuck away? Like I said, one was a ch one I know for sure was a pedophile who raped like seven or eight little boys, sodomized them. One was a domestic abuser, you know, who was beating his girlfriend and I think his mother as well. And I think he was also facing charge of criminal confinement. Another one was just as bad as well. Oh yeah, that other one got shot and wounded. <laughs> he was illegally carrying a damn gun. So, I mean, this shit is totally fucking insane. Insane. It's amazing how these leftist lip tars in the party will promote violence, rioting, looting, just by killing people over their political ideology. Yet someone like Kyle Rittenhouse has the courage to stand up, make a stand, and defend their own communities. And they want to send his ass to the fucking gallows after they did nothing fucking wrong. It's just totally fucking insane. This is why I said several times the Democrat Party is the enemy of the damn people. The Democrat Party is nothing more than a terrorist organization. They're the most dangerous terrorist, or the most dangerous terrorist organization America faces today. It's not Al Qaeda. It's not ISIS. Okay, or it's not the Taliban. It is the Democrat Party, the America's most number one domestic terrorist organization, the Democrat Party, and they'll use violence and mayhem to promote their political ideology, basically, through riots, through riots, don't through riots. Terms, oh, through riots, burning stuff, 